going to see if we can help a lot of people live a lot, lot longer. Long live Britain. Tonight at nine on BBC One and BBC One HD. This is BBC One, and now we're going to the BBC Newsroom. Thing ahead. You're watching BBC News. I'm Anita McVeigh at the Lindo Wing of St Mary's Hospital in London. The Lindo Wing, of course, the private wing of the hospital where the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge uh, have been since early this morning awaiting the arrival of their baby. And with me is our royal correspondent, Peter Hunt. Uh, what news do you have, Peter? I can tell you that the Duchess of Cambridge, as the statement says, has been delivered of a son. And so we know that that will be a Prince of Cambridge and he will be the first Prince of Cambridge to be born for more than 190 years, the last of the <laughs> grandson of George III. And you can hear the cheers there. Absolutely. Disseminated. Huge crowds have been gathered here, of course, all day, growing throughout the day. And uh, you can hear them in the background, I'm sure, cheering at the news that the Duchess of Cambridge has given birth to a son. And Peter, after all our discussions about the changes to the laws of succession uh, and much anticipation that perhaps if she had a daughter, here we would be seeing really a very historic moment with centuries of tradition overturned. Well, then she goes and has a boy. <laughs> still a, a, an historic moment, but not as historic as it could have been. There's still this boy, this baby boy. I'm still waiting for the email to load so I can tell you it's, it's wait and per correct time of birth. But this boy will be a monarch of 16 countries. It will be Supreme Governor of the Church of England.